Hi there, I'm Sachin from the Architects family. We are a team of analytical consultants who are passionate about building financial products for your investment needs. We really appreciate you for taking the time today to review a demo of our proprietary solution on financial portfolio management. Designed on the Shiny application platform, the financial portfolio management dashboard will equip the asset manager with a host of features to support him in developing investment strategies. The key questions in the minds of every retail investor are, which are the stocks to invest in and what should be my exposure in these stocks? Answering these questions require an extensive amount of analytical work from an analyst. We realize that it is quite challenging for professionals to make time for such a process driven activity, which can potentially be modeled into an application. And this is exactly what the tool aims to address. The application we have developed takes in crucial factors such as historical stock performance, growth forecasts, expected return and risk appetite as inputs, and then processes this information to provide an optimized financial portfolio curated to each investor's financial goals and risk profile. Advising retail investors will be made more effective and more efficient. I am Mohinda. We believe that for a trader, the best way is to have a website or an application where they can analyze all these things. We developed one such application. Let's have a look at it. Over here in the Explore tab, we can see the first option is to select a stock, which I will, for example, I would like to go for Alphabet. Then I need to select the date. I can go for August 16, 2013 to the current date. Then I just need to click on Update and the graph will be there. So there are four technical parameters. The best parameters we believe are useful for the trader. The first one is the Bollinger pad. It tells us about the risk which is involved along with the share. Higher the risk, uh, the low the investment will be. It also tells us the information regarding the overbought and the oversold shares. So we just need to click on the update. Then is the volume button. So in the volume, it's that how much is the strength of an any price movement depends on the volume for any period. Higher volume means more significance. For a trader, volume level provides clues about the entry and the exit strategy. The next one is the DMI or the directional movement indicator. The, as you can see, the green line over here, it shows the buying pressure. The red line showing the selling pressure. Larger the spread between the two lines, the stronger the price trend. And the last one, the CMF or the Chaikan money flow. A CMF value above the zero line is a sign of a strength in the market and a value below the zero line is the sign of a weakness in the market. So for a trader, I will suggest wait for the CMF to confirm the breakout direction of price action. Now I would like Robin to tell about the forecast. I'm Robin General. Till now we have discussed how the stock is doing historically. So now let's see how the stock will be performing in the future. Since we have time series data, we have used Arima model in our Shiny app. So coming to our Shiny app, we have a forecast tab that has three inputs, the stock option, forecast period and confidence interval. In the stock option tab, you can select a stock you want to see the forecast on. Let's say we want to see it on Amazon and then we can select the forecast period. Forecast period of five means we will be predicting forecasting for five days and a confidence interval of 55 means we are 55 percent sure with our values. So let's forecast it. So we have three graphs. So the first graph shows us the close values for the Amazon stock in the recent past. So you can zoom in and check the following values if you want. And the second plot gives you the historical value of logarithmic returns of Amazon. And the third value, we have the returns of stock in the forecasted period of five days. The upper green line represents the higher, higher values and the lower red line represents the lower values. So the green to red is the confidence interval that we have. So now let's say you want to see it about some other stock, let's say Apple. When you do it for Apple and let's say we keep the same days and same confidence interval and then we forecast it, we have another set of graph. So now we will go to the forecast optimize tab. Hello everyone, I'm Abhinav and I'm going to walk you through the final portion of our application which is the optimization tab. Let me quickly switch to the app. So as you've seen in the previous screens, our UI on this one looks pretty much the same. The major differences being 
that over here you can actually select multiple stocks since uh, we are the focus of this page is portfolio optimization so i'll add a few stocks for this for our use case next the user in our case an asset manager can specify the investment amount he wants our default value is one thousand dollars and we'll be using that for this case <coughs> moving on we have four optimization options the first one is roi which looks to optimize the portfolio based on the expected returns. Minimum risk, which looks to optimize it based on the least volatility. Box ROI, which is more towards diversification of a portfolio, which thereby reduces risk and also increases, increases returns. And randomized portfolios, which focuses on randomized portfolio generation and then picks the leader among those portfolios. So, if you've noticed, I changed my selection from ROI to box ROI and accordingly uh, there were some new constraints that came up for the user to input. So in the case of box ROI, our constraints are minimum and maximum boxes. And let me just run this. So in our outputs, the two main uh, statistics are the expected returns and the volatility. So what this says is that out of all the various portfolios that this optimizer checked, this was the leader among them. The pie chart gives you a breakup of where you should put your money and what weightage should be allocated to each stock. So say for AT&T, the investment amount is $300 and the weightage is 30%. Similarly, we have another uh, scatter plot which plots all the stocks by their assigned weights. And this makes it really simple for the end user to know how much needs to go into each stock. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Karthik. My colleagues have taken you through the technicalities of the product that we have built. Now let us take a step back and understand what these features mean in the industry. Uh, so there are four main functionalities that we brought in our analytical solution. One is that the end user or the asset manager needs to get the data easily. Uh, so our product links up with the financial databases and uh, converts and uh, performs financial transformation so that it's easier for the end user to analyze the stocks. Coming to the explore phase of our product, uh, an asset manager will be able to look at all the stocks and uh, apply all the financial metrics on them so that he has a good sense of what these metrics uh, are telling about a particular product. We also use a lot of machine learning models uh, and algorithms on our uh, time series data uh, to forecast uh, what a stock would do in the next 5 to 10 or 15 days. So that uh, an asset manager will not just be able to uh, complement his industry knowledge but also get some analytic view on the same. Moving on to the optimizer. Uh, here we have built an optimizer that not just optimizes for uh, one or two objectives but we are looking at four objectives and we have built this in our product uh, not just for a single uh, function uh, because the industry is, is changing rapidly and there are multiple uh, users who come with different uh, requests uh, so to cater all these needs it is uh, imperative for an asset manager to have all these products or uh, tools in his hand this is how we are looking at our solution, technology solution. Uh, our proprietary optimizer solution would be sitting uh, uh, in our cluster. And then we'll be getting data sources from Yahoo Finance. And uh, the final asset manager will just be having the UI on his uh, end. So this makes our solution scalable. Uh, we have uh, put a demo of our solution on uh, GitHub and Shiny so that the users can have a look at it and uh, any queries can be uh, forwarded to Mr. Robin Jindal. Here are our references.